Happy Tuesday, dear Basconians, and welcome to our morning assembly. Today is the Feast of the Exaltation of the Cross. Let us spend this time giving reverence and praise to God. We begin this day with our national anthem, honoring our flag, remembering our very culture and pride. Let us now recite the vision mission statement of Don Bosco Tarlac. Vision Anchored in reason, religion, and loving kindness, Don Bosco Tarlac is a community of competent, resilient, and committed servant leaders answering the call for holiness and social change. Mission To be an educative pastoral community of lifelong learners, champions of integral ecology, and agents of social transformation to provide a holistic Catholic education that forms the young, especially the poor, to become good Christians and honest citizens. We all together recite our Bosconian pledge. I am a Bosconian, a man of prayer. I love my God and live my faith. I am a Bosconian, a man of character. I fight for what is good and right. I am a Bosconian, a man of excellence. I give my best in all I do. I am a Bosconian, a man of service. I live and serve with holy joy. I am a Bosconian, in word and in deed, indeed. For our morning prayer today, we will be guided by this video on the prayer to the Holy Cross. The Holy Cross Prayer In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord Almighty, you have suffered death at the cross for our sins. O Holy Cross of Jesus, be my true light. O Holy Cross of Jesus, Fill my soul with good thoughts. O Holy Cross, help me in my salvation. O Holy Cross, safeguard me against unholy thoughts and worldly dangers, that I may worship the Holy Cross of Jesus of Nazareth crucified. Have pity on me. O Holy Cross of Jesus, be my hope. O Holy Cross, have mercy on me forever and ever. In honor of the precious blood of Jesus and His fearful death and resurrection and His glorification, which leads to everlasting life. As true as Jesus is born on Christmas and crucified on Good Friday, as true as St. Joseph and Nicodemus took Jesus down from the cross, as true as Jesus ascended into heaven, may he preserve me from my enemies, both visible and invisible, forever and ever. 
Lord Almighty, into your hands I give my soul and my body. O Lord Jesus, grant me strength to bear the cross as yourself. Teach me to bear it with great humility that the Blessed Virgin may fill me with the Holy Spirit. Preserve my soul and lead it to life everlasting. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us now turn our attention to our morning talk to be given by our Assistant Principal for Academic Affairs for the Junior High School Department, Ms. Glenda Marcelo. All people on earth have experienced different crosses in their lives. And these crosses are in the form of problems, may it be a problem in the family, problem in the workplace, problem in relationships. These crosses are also in the form of difficulties, of challenges, of struggles, and I am not an exemption to it. The biggest cross I ever experienced in my life is the maternal separation anxiety, wherein it describes a mother's experience of worry, of guilt, of sadness during a short-term separation from her child. When Kuya AJ was four years old, we need to leave him with my parents in Pangasinan because that time, his father and I are both working. And at that time also, Kuya AJ has an adding choice who is one year old. We need to leave him temporarily with my parents it was a painful decision, it was a painful experience, but we need to. We talk to him regularly through phone calls, and then after a month, we plan to visit him. We bring Pasalubo, and he was very happy. We were very happy because we are together as a family. When the time comes that we need to come back here in Tarlac City, it was a difficult time again. It was a difficult moment because we AJ was crying and I was crying too. So we decided to bring him with us in coming home here in Tarlac City. What did I do to overcome that big cross, that of the maternal separation anxiety. First, I recognize my feelings. I accept my feelings. I became aware of my feelings and it was helpful. Second, I keep myself busy. I do a lot of work. I concentrated with my work. I plan activities. I focused with his adding joys just to keep myself busy. And the third, I pray a lot. I do pray a lot that life would be favorable for us so that we could be together again as a family. And I was happy because it was an answered prayer. How? The following year, Kuya AJ turned 5 years old. It was the time also that Don Bosco opened for kindergarten. And Kuya AJ was qualified to enroll as kindergarten. So the last one month or more that we were not together was replaced with 13 years of being together because from grade kindergarten to grade 12, we were together. Sabay kaming pumapasok, sabay kaming kumakain ng lunch, sabay kaming umuwi sa hapon. Not until nung no, grade 8 na siya, nag grade 9, unti-unti na siyang umihiwalay sa akin. 
sa pag-uwi sa hapon. Nung una, syempre, bilang nanay, takot ako. Kasi baka kung mapano siya sa daan, anong mangyari sa kanya sa daan. Pero, unti-unti, hinayaan ko siyang mag-isa. Para matuto siyang maging independent, matuto siyang maging responsible. Okay. What is my message? In this time of pandemic, one of the positive effects of this COVID-19 pandemic, if not all of the parents, most of the parents are working from home. And most of the students, like you Bosconians, if not all, are into online distance learning. So it is a good opportunity for you to bond with your family, to be with your family most of the time, to spend quality time with your family. So dear parents and students, treasure the time of being together as a family. For we do not know what tomorrow may bring. We do not know what will happen in the future. Okay? So I would like to end my talk with this quote from Marcus Aurelius. He said, Time is like a river. You cannot touch the same water twice because the flow that has passed will never pass again. So enjoy every moment in your life. Again, dear Boscon Bosconians, dear parents, dear lay mission partners, dear Salishans, good morning po sa inyong lahat. Keep safe and God bless us all. Thank you so much, Ma'am Glenda, for sharing to us that cross that you were able to carry. Today is the Feast of the Exaltation of the Cross. Let us praise and glorify God. Let us be happy that He saved us through the cross. God bless you and take care.